Right side here for Music Radar, we're on the QB Electronics booth. This is Andrew, hello Andrew, nice to see you again. Yes. Um, you've kind of landed us with four new modules, right. Surface, Data Bender, Aurora and Cascade. Yes. Um, let's look at them all now. Okay. Um, I think we should start with Surface, we'll go Number and work three. our way along. Yeah, um, go. yeah, go for it, tell us all about it. Okay, so it's a multi timbral physical modeling voice. Uh, What's really cool about it is you're not restricted to one algorithm or physical model, you have a bunch to choose from. So, right now we're listening to our plug string mode here. Just going to pitch up a little so you can hear the timbre. So it's going to be like guitars, basses, things of that nature. As we move up, we're going to hear the mallet section. So it's going to be like marimbas and vibes and things that you would hit with a mallet. Yeah. Beyond that, you're going to have the kick or tom-tom section. So yeah. it's, you know, tuned, tuned drum sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then past that, you're going to have like your snare. Yeah. about this that's really neat. You can have up to eight voices of polyphony. All right. So you can change that with the voices knob. So right now we have eight voices that can be active at a time. And you know, what's cool is they can come from any model. So you just dial them in. They're ringing out there. Yeah. It sounds like you have four modules going, but you only have one and you yeah. get eight voices. You yeah. know? So yeah. that's a really amazing part about it. Each model has its own specific timbre controls. Yeah. So the tone knob's gonna be like a, a filter on each one, essentially. Yeah. It's gonna get brighter, less bright. Your strike knob's gonna be, it's best to hear it on the mallet section. So right now it would be like having rubber mallets or kind of a darker tone. Yeah. Makes sense a lot harder. You get brighter as you go yeah, up, yeah. like plastic mallets, things yeah, like that. Sure, sure. And then of course you can choke your voices. So if you have eight voices ringing out and you want to stop them, you can hit choke. Yeah. Also has a trigger input for that. So if you want to dynamically, you know, yeah, accentuate your notes, around. then you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, so cool. Yeah. Awesome. So that's, um, that's the service, 10 HP. Yeah. It's gonna be 2.99. Uh, should be out in March, should be the first one out. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. So moving on yeah. to the data vendor. Yes. Um, yeah, what's going on here? So, this is a, we're calling it a circuit bent audio buffer. Uh, so it's inspired by sort of circuit bent speaker reeds and Casios, where you can find this just endless, fun, never repeating things, you yeah. know, never stagnant. Yeah. So it's kind of a survey of all the ways equipment can just break or misbehave and do these things you don't like at the time, but would be musical if you had control over yeah. it, right? So. Right off the bat, it's a, digital, sorry, it's a digital audio buffer. You have a five minute stereo audio buffer, 48K sample rate, 24 bit depth. Oh, cool. The time and the repeats, it's gonna be your buffer controls. So the time is basically your buffer size. Yeah. And then the repeats is gonna be how much of the buffer you're playing through. Okay. So even just with these couple controls, you can really start to glitch it out pretty good. Yeah. But where it gets really exciting is the bend, break, and corrupt features. Okay. So, uh, Bend is like an old tape machine. It's gonna play backwards, forwards, do very speed pitch adjustments, tape warble, things of that nature. Yeah. So, so you hear it start to do reverse, and what you want to notice too is that it's distinctly it's true stereo. So you have a really good stereo spread here, and you're gonna hear two distinct processes happening. Next is break. And this is gonna be like a skipping CD or a scratched record. Yeah. It's gonna take your playhead and just kind of throw it all around. Spectral controls. Right. 
Now Warp is gonna start to apply background pitch transformations. So you're doing some strange things in the background there. Beneath that we have Blur, which is gonna smear our transients and kind of just turn the audio into this mulch. Yes. So yeah. you bring it all to the left, you hear it kind of just sink into this muddy, you know, thing, and then kind of the inverse at the top of it where it's brighter, but it's still very unique there. And what's really cool too is we have button and gate inputs for the time and the frequency freezing. So you can hold it. Right. So right now, if you can hear that. It's locked our input. If you can take these out, it's gonna keep ringing on forever. And so there's a trigger input for that as well. So you can dynamically use, you know, use a gate signal or something. And then same thing for the frequency, but it's gonna keep your transients coming through, but it's gonna lock your spectral tamper. Um, then reflection, it's basically a spectral low pass filter. So it's, it's not gonna sound like a resonant low pass filter because it's using the bins, the frequency bins to perform the filtering. So it gets very bright and then damp down at the bottom. Um, true stereo, so it'll retain your stereo image coming in and completely yeah, keep it going out. And as well as these are some of these are very unique um, stereo effects as well, so they'll place it. Yeah, right. Cool. Cool. But yeah, that's it. So it's 12 HP. Yeah, it's gonna be available in April, and it should be uh, 2.99 retail. 2.99. Uh, uh, last but not least. Last but not least. Let's hit the Cascade. The Cascade. So the Cascade is a ratcheting envelope generator. Right. It's inspired by things like first generators where you can trigger something and spit out a stream of a particular type of signal. Yeah. But in this case, it's envelopes. Okay. And so let me um, let me patch out a noise here. I'll have some to have that. So we'll just take our clock output from the balloon, trigger it. Bring up our sound. There we go. So right now, Acting like a traditional AD envelope. Yep. Okay, so I'm sending it a trigger, clock pulse, and it's just outputting an AD envelope. So you have your typical controls, attack to K. Uh -huh. Nothing crazy there. Where it gets really exciting is the repeats. Right. And so this is the number of ratchets that are gonna be performed. Okay. So as I bring this up, you'll hear it. Now it's doing it twice, yep. three times, four times. You just get some really interesting rhythmic activity happening yeah. with just a clock signal. Which yeah. is really boring usually, but in this case you can see the repeats, you get some really interesting uh -huh. things happening. Yeah. There are two outputs. They can be identical, inverted, or they can interact in a couple other unique ways. So that's dependent upon the mode. Okay. And they each have an attenuator which goes from zero to 10 volts in the output. So a really wide range, you can use it for VCAs or filters or anything, it's not gonna be too little you know, yeah. of a signal. Um, one other thing about it, it can be ASR, AD as we're having here, ADSR, or a bouncy ball mode. Right. So this yeah. is the classic bouncy ball patch where it mimics gravity on a, on a ball essentially and it speeds up and slows down. That's gonna be built right in. You can, yeah. You'll can you be able to access it with the cycling and it'll yeah. in the mode and it'll go into the bouncy ball mode. So uh, right now it's cycling. Worth mentioning, not triggering it, it's doing, you know, it's running on its own. Yeah. Yeah. And then one other cool thing is you can freeze the output. Oh, cool. So wherever it's at, you find a spot, it's really good for performing where you can kind of have it just go and lock it in there and yeah. then keep everything going, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so. And then of course, end of attack and end of cycle gates. Nice. So, very handy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 10 HP. Yeah. It's going to be 199 and it'll be out in June. June. So, yeah. it is literally this one, that one, and that one. No, that one, that one, that one. And that's right. Yes. Yeah. I'll get there in the end. Got it. Andrew, thank you so much thank for you. showing us your latest stuff. Yeah, of course. Um, Please like, subscribe, comment, share wherever you're seeing this video right now. Uh, do check out musicradar.com for latest NAM news as we get it. So we'll see you soon. Bye.